Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be discussing about XML parsing in Alteryx. So we all work with different kinds of data sets, different types of data sets coming from different sources. Uh, we work with Excel, we work with CSV files, flat files. We work with data coming from different databases, SQL Server, Big Data, Amazon, Ratshape, all those stuff. Okay. Sometimes what happens like we get data from XML, JSONs and all that. So today we'll be discussing about data coming from uh, XML files. So uh, how do you parse that XML data into, into your uh, Alteryx and how will you uh, do different kind of configurations to get different, uh, different kind of results. So that all we'll be seeing it today. So to start with, like we have to log into our Alteryx designer, you know that. And the first thing first, you know, the first thing what we have to do is like get the data. To get the data, we have to use uh, input tool. So you can use input tool uh, here, input data tool, not this one. So input data tool. So this way what will happen, like you will be able to load data from different sources. Here you are. So here uh, you can select this, select a file and uh, I already have an XML file. So this is sample.xml, which I have already loaded. So that's there in my uh, files. I'll select that's, on, that's there on my desktop. So this sample file, say okay. And I'll just load this. Now what happens like uh, this data will be coming up this way. Initially, when you load any XML file, it might come up with this form, okay? Or you want to see the XML configuration, what you have to do you have to just like uh, you will see here return outer xml so that way you will be able to see the xml configuration so it might be a small subset of data or like it might be a big data in your many yeah, thousand lines also in an xml file so in this case what will happen like uh, the data will be looking up like this so here you see this we have the book book id book outer xml so book id and uh, other different columns author is there like a title is there genre is there price is there, published date is there, and description is there. So like this data is there, uh, coming up. Now, what we have to do, we have to first make it in the right way so that we can get the data in rows and columns. So to do that, like we have to use the XML parsing. So basically the parts, there are uh, groups. So basically a tool set, so which allows us to tool palette, which allows us to uh, have like different set of tools under parsing. So we have date time, we have regex. Regex is nothing but regular expressions, very important and very, very useful if you're working on data cleaning part and all. In that case, you'll be using regex a lot. I do use these regex uh, quite often. So basically what it does, like uh, it helps you to clean the data. There are a lot of unwanted characters or you want to like, extract some important information from your data values and all that. So in that case, regex expression will be very, very useful. So it helps us to identify the required values to get the important information out of the <coughs> text. Then you have text to columns. Text to columns, I'll, I believe we have discussed earlier. So it helps us to uh, uh, basically allows us to uh, divide the existing column into multiple columns. Sometimes what happens, the columns will be coming uh, and that is having values like uh, multiple information in the same column value, basically same cell. But we want to uh, uh, divide or we want to uh, create multiple uh, columns based on one column. So how do we do that? For that we have to use text to columns then we have xml parse xml parse it allows us to parse the xml okay from uh, xml file there. so parse the data from an xml file so what it does it helps us to uh, get the data into rows and columns and we will have a clear data clean data to start our analysis so our complete analysis depends on uh, the data what you are trying to bring up the output what you are going to get so here like as soon as i add uh, xml parts tool here you see that i have help so as i told you earlier whenever you are working on Alteryx or any of these tools click on this uh, question mark which will take you to the help of that particular tool that will that way you will be able to understand about the tool what is this tool all about how it is configured and everything so coming back to and this is very important if you are a learner make sure you do make sure you learn this thing you go through this particular page and see 
what is all about xml pass to read about that and uh, if you are preparing for certifications and all that in that case this uh, information will be very very useful because there are a lot of uh, conceptual questions which will be coming up there and you have to go through that so here coming back to our workflow so here we are so once like if i say let's say <laughs> root so xml uh, element to parse there are two different kind of configurations here so field with xml data i'll say uh, book outer xml okay i'll say this and i will select xml element to parse so i'll say root so which is the root of my xml file and then written child values i want to return all the child values and then i'll just use a browse tool you know that i'll just drag and drop a browse tool or right click say insert browse tool it's the way you want to see i'll say run the workflow and here if i just click on the browse tool you will see that uh, i'll be getting a data so which is having book id uh, book uh, outer xml i have book to book id author title generic price and all this information now this is all the profile of the data what uh, whatever is coming up here and if i go back to the configuration so right now what it is doing it is taking child values and it is taking from the root now we have another option here to select auto detect child now what it will do it will automatically detect the child any of the column out of your xml and then it will show you the results let's go ahead and just run this workflow now you will see you, you will have only author so it automatically detected some column and it, it is giving you the results out of it so this is the configuration of auto detect child or let's say uh, you have another option of sp uh, specify specific child name you want to return a specific column let's say i'll say generic so what will happen like uh, this column will be returned and this is because you have given a specific child name by yourself so i'll say run and here you see the result here you got the generic here so computer fantasy and all that stuff so this way what happens you are able to parse the data and you get the results into your rows and columns uh, instead of like having the data in uh, this kind of format which is which is completely not useful if you are doing your data analysis so if your data comes in this form xml form you have to you can easily parse it using xml parts tool there are other configuration written child values written outer xml also now what will happen if i say return outer xml it will return me the xml uh, of that particular generic here if you see generic computer it is completely returning me the uh, generic column name and the outer xml of that also so this is all what you need if you uh, need only the child names if you want to return the root root means it will return you everything it will return everything and you will get the data in the uh, rows and columns everything whatever you wish to get it now you have this all data id to or the title generate price now from here let's say you can use a select tool uh, you can use the select tool i hope everyone understand what is select tool select tool allows us to <coughs> load only those data columns which we really require okay so uh, and removing the unwanted columns and all we can remove everything else so let's say i'll start with id2 <coughs> author title generate published date description and all these columns say run and here i am so this way like i am getting the required data completely uh, whatever i wish okay and you can even change the data types and all that everything here so this is how like uh, xml parse tool will help us this is very very useful and a lot of people are using it in their workflows and this is quite a good requirement in real time scenarios so that's all from my side for xml parse in next session we'll see some more tools uh, thank you very much and if you have liked the session please uh, share it with your friends your colleagues your peers uh, so that they can also learn something new and ultrix ultrix is very very popular and it's very useful it's going to make your life easier when you are working on a lot of cleaning and a lot of data analysis part. Thank you very much.